Hello, in the previous video, you saw how the GW LCPM battery protection works in general. Today I show you one specific and in practice probably the most common wiring diagram of the CPM module. I have a 5 cell LTO battery with 12 volts nominal voltage. I deliberately chose such small cells so that we can easily show both full discharge and full charge. I connect the minus pole of the battery to the first input of the cell's terminals. On the second and every other, I connect the pluses of the other cells, one after another. Therefore, the last input of the cells is the total battery voltage. The connection bridges help me to maintain order and clarity in the wiring. On the rotary selectors, I set the minimum voltage of the cell to 2 and the highest at 2.5 volts. For each type of battery, we can set four different maximum and minimum voltages based on the required state of charge. Single coil relays are used for switching on and off the load and the charger. This relay, connected to the U-min output, protects against the deep discharge of the battery load. In our case, an orange bulb. The right relay protects the battery from overcharging. A white light bulb indicates the charging process. The bistable relay is a backup, so-called emergency, and it shuts down the whole CPM module when the voltage of any cell is exceeded by 3 tenths of the volts below or above the value set on the rotary selectors. It serves as a backup if the UMIN and UMAX relays would not be disconnected for any reason. At the output of cells, you can now see the voltage of the weakest cell. You can connect the controlled voltmeters directly to these outputs or you can plug it into the measuring analog inputs of another system, for example, the LAN controller. Right now, we discharge the battery with a yellow light bulb and wait until the voltage of one of the cells is below the set voltage limit of 2 volts for at least 15 seconds. Then the CPN module turns off the one coil relay UMIN and the bulb goes out. Should be any moment now. Yeah, great, it works. Uh, the UMAX relay, which protects the battery from overcharge, remains on, so charging is still in progress. As you can see, the voltage of the strongest cell grows. We wait until it reaches 2.5 volts. Then the CPN module should also disconnect the charger. Excellent, works. Small inaccuracy is in tolerance of 0.05 volt. So the CPN module protects any lithium phosphate or LTO battery of up to 16 cells against overcharging and deep discharge with dual security.